timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Anything interesting? You can tell all that? Still, I wonder what she was doing out here. Such lovely weather calls for a harvest, I do believe. Well, hell sweet, hello there, valued visitor. I am sure sorry to break it to you, but our orchards are closed to all officially guided tours at this... Oh, my dear Law. Sir, I don't mean to be rude, but do you know what's going on with your face? Why, thank you. Rizzo's encourages all workers to put on a happy face when engaging with valued customers. Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a Puzzle Hedges trademark maze hunt and special edition taste testing for an extra 35 bits a ticket. Ah, you mean that lovely actor who got herself dead? Damn shame what happened to her. She did come by, but not during any official tour time. I thought she'd hired a private tour at first, but it was Dr. Blossom who was showing her the way to the RR and DD labs. Can't imagine why she'd need to meet with our head researcher on the Spectrum product line outside of her lab hours. Unless... That's right. She was. Maybe it might have involved an issue with the launch bag. All I know is one of our certified tour guides could have given her a much more comprehensive tour of the grounds were that her interest. Can't say that I have. We use bad batches of liquor for our pesticides. Only the exterminator mechanicals are armed around here. And I haven't seen any bloody objects aside from the usual pair of gardening shears. Unless, that is, Miss Helen was also stung to death by pollinization wasquitoes? She wasn't, was she? That would be a mighty r- Pollinization by killer wasquitoes, indeedy. It's cutting-edge Rizzo's technology. But don't you worry, valued visitor. Our pollinization cycles only run when the orchards are empty. For safety reasons. When a pollinization cycle finishes or is aborted, all wasquitoes are biologically programmed to return to the hive, their holding pen. Of course, the very last thing Rizzo's would want is a beloved tourist, so you'd best steer clear of it for safety. You'll know the hive by its big, glimmering electric fencing. Well now, you certainly are an individual of refined taste. There are folks who defend the premium option and its sprat petting zoo, but once you've been bit by one sprat, you've been bit by them all. Of course, tours of any access level must be suspended during a scheduled pollinization cycle. Our wasp... Yes, indeedy. I've got the wondrous honor of having just been promoted to third keeper of the grounds after the last one disappeared on the job. Gosh... Before my morning clogging last Sunday, I was but a lowly nanner peeler picker on the line shift. Now I'm responsible for growing ev- Heaven sweet, no. It's not like he was murdered. He simply disappeared without a trace and hasn't been heard from since. And the groundkeeper before that one? Well, she wasn't missing at all. Her body was found near hive control, covered head to toe in thousands of welts. No mystery, and certainly no murder with what happened there. 
I mean, you can't exactly hold some wasp heroes on trial. <laughs> Can't speak for others, but I most assuredly don't. I reckon you could talk to my supervisor, the overseeing orchardist. He would know more. I used to ask questions, but gee, I just don't. What kind of investigation? Oh, drat. This distresses me, and I do not like feeling cross. I warned the Orchardist this could happen when we halted our monthly bribe to Slug. They were always a reliable go-between, uh, regarding inspections before now. So, what might you be looking to find? Did he now? Well, that sounds about right. He has been mightily outspoken in his disdain for Slug in recent months. The overseeing orchardist had the last groundskeeper deliver a contract termination in the place of our regular payment. Rizzo's decided we don't need their services anymore. See, with our new morale-boosting medical treatments, our employees are much more productive. No... Sorry, I'm not at liberty to say... Why, you say that as if it's a bad thing. You won't find a Rizzo's worker in all of Eridanos who isn't a hundred percent thrilled in their day-to-day -day existence. It's part of our brand. Happy workers lead to... And repeat customers make the charts look better on our weekly profit reports. So if nothing else, it's my responsibility at all times. And you know what never fails to bring a smile to my face? The breathtaking... I can't... There's a... You're back, I see. How's the Well, so I... Really now? There's something else? Got a lot of dead saplings that'll cost us a lot of bits. I've got a feel... The mechanicals were hacked. They're pretty much running amok. If you... Uh, that said, you might want to be careful. Those things are built to take on wasp -kidos, and wasp -kidos are generally tougher to kill than people. The tower processing console is completely fried. No! 
Not bad, huh? Wanna be your You gotta catch Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline is... Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Stand in awe before our huge Rizzo's Hothouse Conservatory treatment. This building hosts almost as many plant breeds as we have delicious products. <laughs> almost. Are you wondering about that omnipresent, warm, and fragrant mist? That's just our all-natural fertilizing spray, made of pureed Sissy Pig waste products. From nature, back to nature. Our spray is part of the cycle of life. Note, Rizzo's discourages inhalation of its safe and natural liquid fertilizer. In case of accidental inhalation, please record any unusual effects and give that record to the nearest Rizzo's employee as quickly as possible. Remember, you are part of the Rizzo's family. Be kind to your family. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Hey, God! What are you doing in here? Are you authorized to be in the conservatory? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Are you my ex-wife? No, she fell off the side of Eridanos under mysterious circumstances six years ago. Conveniently rendering our marriage contract null. You must be the new, uh, groundskeeper? Hmm, that can't be it either, seeing how the new one hasn't died yet. Just who are you? An inspector. Well, I don't think you'll find any evidence here. You're welcome to ask what you want, seeing how I figure you would anyway. Bleeding hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff he gets, bent over plants all day. Indeed. Tromped in and out of the conservatory with no heed for anyone else. Good thing none of my charges were damaged. Starlet or not, I would have... I heard she pushed her way into a tour of the RR and DD labs. Not soon after. She's just a serial actress. Yet she acts like she's deserved of the same access as a co-CEO. Well, she's not going anywhere ever again. Which is a shame, of course. Taken to... I sit inside and I look at plants. Goal is usually to make Rizzo's fruit products hardier and sweeter, but for every success... There are a couple of hundred failures. Example, tried breeding native tripicale with a foreign strain. Would have called it hextacale. In the end, it bred so fast, workers were swallowed up before they could harvest it. That one, I think, can be attributed to the wasp kiddos. Some lament their irritability, but their productivity is unmatched. What's... You say angry. I say efficient. Not only can... 
They come through the orchards only during pollinization cycles, as dictated by our hive control operators, which means that... Well, yes, if there's an equipment malfunction, the pollinization cycle will have to be manually shut down, which means traveling to hive control while the wasquitoes swarm. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen.
underlying discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Okay. discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis. This discarded canister is typical of the R-mounted storage tanks on the orchard's agricultural mechanicals. However, it is not currently attached to a mechanical. This canister contains a high amount of vinegar in addition to water. Warning. Use of vinegar, a known herbicide on purpleberry saplings, is a violation of rizzo. Chemical makeup of substance, 50% water, 50% vinegar. These canisters can typically be found in the nursery storage building in the Purpleberry Orchards, except for this... Oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Here goes. It doesn't matter if you're you or me. We're all... P I thought that was, uh... No jest? Well, that's a wager I sure would have lost. Guess even a busted spectrometer can be right if you hold it to the light, huh? I'm sure you guessed it, but I'm not the best at remembering slogans. And when I can't remember them, I tend to just make them up. 
But I guess that's why I'm just an intern and not a full-timer. At least, not yet. Oh yes, I thought I saw someone who looked self-important enough to be her by the conservatory some time ago. Not to speak ill of the dead. I simply never liked the way she stole the limelight from the true star. Burbage 3001. I certainly am. That aerodynamic chassis? How the light glints off his rotund head? The way he enunciates, cry havoc and let loose the cadence of war. Excuse me, I got a little lightheaded there. Nobody does sh Who? I suppose so. I also suppose... It's not so different from being a regular worker, just with less pay and less respect. Oh, it's also more dangerous than traditional employment. You don't have the experience to back up your work yet, but being fired isn't any less threatening. Work-wise, I do a bit of everything. The orchards have been short-staffed as long as I've been working here. So if there's an odd job around, it you... Much higher chance of promotion. If I can tough it out here without getting axed, I can skip the five plus years of customer service I'd normally have to deal with. I can prove my merit here and move up in the world. And the sooner I do that, the sooner I can set to improving things for everyone else. Mother did mention that from time to time, but she always kept me far away from her work. Who could complain about happier workers and higher profit gains? Much as I love delivering coffee and medical attention, not quite, no. Don't tell anyone I said this, but I sometimes feel that our workers could be treated a little better. Maybe only get electrocuted awake every other day? So I'm shooting for administration in Rizzo's. Maybe even the board itself. Best way to evoke... Laws, you've got a sixth sense for finding the most embarrassing question, huh? My mother is the Rizzo's assistant vice president of flavor testing. She set me up with this position. Mostly to keep me from troubling her work, I think. Consequently, I don't always feel like I deserve to be here. Happy to let me know if there's anything I can help. What? No, that's ridiculous. I can't tell you I've never made any mistakes, but it'd be pretty hard to keep my job if I were trying to break everything. Though there was the time I tried to fix a broken hinge on one of our mosquito hives and released a swarm, chased me around the orchards three times before I managed to get help. Hey, that was one honest mistake. One! And considering the fact that mosquitoes have a tendency to kill people, I think I learned my lesson. Don't worry, though. Mosquitoes are typically only about when living folks aren't in the orchards. I am contractually obligated to tell you that mosquitoes never get out during visiting hours. But when they do, the only way to get them to return is to go directly to hive control and activate emergency recall. Which isn't easy, considering all the hives near control. But this is all a departure from what I wanted to say. I've been trying to help the orchard. Hold a moment. Why should weed killer affect saplings? Weed killer. It's in the name. It should kill only weeds. That really seems like it's more on product design than on me. Well, yes. The orchards are becoming overrun with pests. Usually we give workers handguns and tell them to go to town, which results in our exterminator Automax only kill mosquitoes. And even then, only if an exec somehow ended up in the orchards during a pollinization cycle. So I decided to do some reprogramming. The reprogramming was easy until I locked myself out of the terminal. Then when I was running away from the bots, I dropped the terminal access card somewhere in the orchards.
In retrospect, you're right. At the time, I was... But there's nothing to come clean about. What do you think? Do what you want. Let me know if there's anything I can help you. discrepancy detected nearby. This console is 95% non-functional. Remaining 5% functionality stems from display reading console non-functional. Cause of short out is most likely related to purple residue splattered all across the key. Substance contains trace amounts of purple berries, fruit flavors, and artificial sweeteners number 35. Number 49, number 240, number 322, number 314, and many, many, many others. You know you're liable to get sick doing that.
would be remiss to fail to mention the Orchard Storage Warehouse. Gaze in amazement at the impressive construction of the front door, the sleek roof and glittering piping, the lush walls keeping this gem hidden from the rest of the orchards. This warehouse is truly, truly a wonder. One can only guess at the... Back again. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Unless you already have, and I've forgotten. In which case... Well, maybe. I might have had a supersized cup of mixed purpleberry punch and lemon slap that I might have knocked over when I was running routine diagnostics. Look, I know what you're thinking, but I have the proper permit to mix those drinks. I just left it in my other work uniform. I doubt it. I've used that exact same line. Hey, we have a lot of uniforms. It's hard keeping... How did you notice? I... The diagnostic normally takes hours, and that's only if humidity's low. I wanted to take the initiative to try and... Law's alive. I really did think I was doing good by the orchards. But with all that you've told me, it sounds like I've done much more harm. I know it's a lot to ask, but is there a chance you could vouch for me to my boss? It might not seem like it, but I've been trying to take the initiative. I really do want to help. Well, it could, but not if I'm given proper supervision. Everyone has to learn somehow, right? I guess I'm not sure what more to say. I suppose I just hope you'll make the right decision. A sweetest hello to you. Now with a... I'm sorry you had to come in on such a brusque comp. Especially not folk that slug is trying to extort. All right. It seems I need to say it yet again. We're not stomping upon your purple berries or knocking your workers off the planetoid. All we want is for you to pay your dues. And I want you to stop setting our exterminator mechanicals loose and breaking our machinery. This is how the conversation has gone for the last hour and a half. Well, he's being difficult, as you've no doubt seen. All I'm here to do is enforce an agreed-upon business relationship. Don't tell me to settle! Why don't you settle? Yes, I'll be sure to do that. I know what you must be thinking, but no, I'm not here to atomize his kneecaps. I just want Slug to get what we're owed. If I hear that question one more time, I swear. Look, we just want to get paid. Ham Much as we love giving the bureaucrats 29% of our profits, technically not. Official contracts have some rather obscene fees and documentation. Instead, our company's opted for a non-official manager's agreement. I'm just here to make certain our friend over there pays on time. That's... You're weird. The sentiment is nice, but Rizzo's doesn't just pay money. They're also literally our meal tickets. Do I? Hmm. Didn't realize that expecting my... Regardless, Slug's Protection Service has ensured that Rizzo's has had zero prob... We haven't been hostile when their payments came up short either. In fact, Rizzo's is more of a danger to the orchards than us. 
considering all the workplace injuries. If I hear... What can... Nope. Sorry. But this is the first I've visited this area in over a month. Oh, me too. We didn't get many episodes of Terror on Monarch back in the Vale, but I thought she was great in Dissidents from the Doomed Planet. Celebs as big as Helen always seem to elicit strong binary opinions in people. But that's neither here nor... You're welcome. Certainly. When I'm not out on a job, they usually stick me in the slug mess hall. I may be a service collector, but that doesn't mean I can't make a damn fine trip of kale pie. Nothing that you couldn't observe yourself. I try. If you haven't already noticed, these orchards are more of a wreck than even some of the cities on Monarch. You're back, I see. Glad. I think it's more of a wonder that nothing in these law forsaken orchards has managed to kill them. How's the investigation going? All right, let's hear the details. A drink? I ain't never heard of no saboteur dumping drinks all over equipment. How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? Slug isn't behind your problems. Slug wouldn't even need to cause you problems. Your own workers do enough. Ha! New Slug was behind the damn sabotage. Please. We're subtle, but that's too subtle. If we wanted to destroy your saplings, you'd have known them by the blackened remnants of their stems, not some half-assed poisoning. Huh. You didn't destroy any of them? Reckon I would have lost that bet. Thanks. One less expense for you to explain to your boss. So what were the fine details of the sabotage anyhow? Of course. And what better way to do that than by targeting our pollenizers? They'd be a hell of a pain to kill manually, but if you set the mechanicals to do it... In your delusional fantasy, the Wasquitos wouldn't be out until next pollinization cycle. Wouldn't someone notice the rampant mechanicals beforehand? That seems like a question you should be asking yourself. Well, yes, it's possible to manually start and end cycles in Hive Control, but we keep a careful watch on it. Stop wasting everyone's time, Hathaway. What you're proposing is infinitely less likely than an idiot maneuver by one of your incompetent workers. I won't hear any further slander. Let's go through this one final time so even you can't confuse it, Hathaway. Slug didn't do a damn thing to your orchards. You're Talk about ghosts all you like, but someone was screwing with my orchards. Summers? The intern? I didn't really take her for a meddlesome type. But right now, we of the Orchards have to settle things with Slug. I reckon that you're about as impartial a third party as- Ah, what the hell. The Orchardist seems to get off on complicating what should be a simple deal. But at this point, I just want to be paid and go. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Thank you very much, Inspector. What? We still have to pay them? <laughs> I know the admin, buddy, and he could... No. No, this all would reflect bad on me. Now that that's out of the way, we can discuss the intern. If she was really causing all that trouble, I will delight in severing her from her job. Even if I were inclined to believe you, that's some damn severe incompetence you're talking about. I still wouldn't want someone like that working the orchards. What the hell are you proposing? 
Let her burn the orchards down while I stand behind her and applaud? We ain't got nothing to exchange. She wants to help, does she? You know what? I'll call your bluff. She can keep at it with close supervision. Use your pay, with a little extra for getting to the bottom of things. It's gonna be real interesting in the orchards for the foreseeable-